Hey bosses, it's Nina. So I created this video in 2015. It says Canva tips and tricks, how to create text maps. And I have about 22,000 views, but I also get a ton of questions because it looks like Canva has changed the way you do text masking. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna go straight into how you do text masking with Canva 2019. Hey everyone, I'm Socially Nina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to re ring that notification bell so you can get notifications each time I release a new video. If you are coming back and have been part of the Boss Club for a while, just go ahead and drop me a note and say hi and let me know what you're doing today. All right, let's get into the video. So I'm in Canva here, and instead of starting with the design, what I'm gonna do is just start with a blank canvas. So in, in order to do that, I'm going to click on Custom Dimensions. My favorite size, and yes, I do have a favorite size, is 1280 by 720. That's what I use for my YouTube thumbnails, but I also use it um, on Facebook posts and different things around the internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. Basically here, all we need is the blank canvas. Now, um, notice I don't need the upgraded version of Canva to do this either. It's just uh, creating a blank background and using what's called frames to fill in um, the background. So I'm gonna go to the left-hand side and choose elements. Now, some of the ones that I already used are here, but let's go ahead and type in frames. And what this is doing is basically giving you picture frames, right? You're just filling in the background where you see this cloud with different images. In fact, let me just go ahead and select one here. It's just a frame. Notice there's different frames here. You can look for specific frames. Here's a hint or a tip that some people don't know about Canva. If you click on the three dots, you can also see what keywords got you here. So when you see circle, border, frame, shape, those are also things that you can add to the top to kind of find additional items. I'm gonna go down to, or up to, photos, and let's just look for, I'll just say sunset, and you're simply just dragging it over there. And of course you gotta do it and then let it go. And it creates a frame for you. Now, if you want to change it, and let me step back. If you wanna change the positioning, I can double click and move it to the left or right. Doing a crop also allows you to kind of change how it's setting. But again, most of the time you're just kind of dragging it to the left or the right to make sure you have it all set up. So here's another trick. I know that Canva recently merged with or purchased Pixabay. However, some of the items that I'm trying to find in here are not in here. They're actually over still in Pixabay. So in this case, I'm gonna put the term Canva on the screen using frames, but I'm gonna head over to Pixabay to find my pink glitter so I can fill it in that way. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is pull up a new browser. Okay, and what you'll see is I'm at Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com. Not only do they have um, free images, but they also have free photos that you can download. All right, in this case, I'm going to search for glitter, or actually I want specifically pink glitter. Search, keep in mind the items at the top are actually from Shuttershock, so you will have to pay for those. I'm gonna scroll down until I see the glitter that I'd like. I'll click once on it, and click on the free download. Now, this isn't a large image that I'm creating, so I'm just gonna put 640 by 360, and that actually just saves it at the size that I need. Next, what you do is you just head over to Uploads and upload your image, and here you can see I have my pink glitter. Of course, I did pink glitter. You can do any background you'd want, but again, my goal is to help you find some items um, that you want to use without paying for them, because if I put in 
I put pink, pink glitter here, any of the pink glitter items here are actually premium. So I just saved myself a dollar. All right, let's go back to the elements. And I'm just gonna pull over the frames that I need. Okay, so I've resized my elements. I just wanna show you a couple of things. I'll click on the A and choose copy so I don't have to do that again. But keep in mind when you're using Canva, anytime you see the double lines or double arrows, it means you are resizing. Anytime you see the four arrows, you are moving. And the half circle arrows means you are actually rotating it. All right, so now all I'll, I'll have to do is go to my uploads and drop them into place. And now I have my glitter Canva text mask. Now keep in mind you can do this with foil. As you saw, I had sunsets, flowers, whatever you need, but this gives you the element of having um, the text mask. So all I would have to do at this point is publish it or download it, save it as a PNG. Keep in mind, if you do want a transparent background, you will have to upgrade to Pro. Um, but in this case, I'll just you can just download it and then you have your text mask. If you have any other questions or tips and tricks that you'd like to learn about Canva, leave them below or check out how to do text masking with PicMonkey in my next video. Just click anywhere on the screen where you see it. Ciao for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe.